Hello and welcome to the channel everybody, I'm Jason Storm and today I want to talk about NVIDIA Zampier and AMD's RDNA 2, the graphics cards that are coming out. Is 8 gigabytes of VRAM enough for 2021 and 2022? So with NVIDIA's Ampere lineup, so far anyway, uh, the 3070 is coming out with 8 gigabytes of VRAM and the, the performance of it is going to be sort of 2080 Ti like. The 3080 is coming out with 10 gigabytes of VRAM and apparently going to be considerably faster than a 2080 Ti. And then you've got the 3090 that's coming out with like 24 gigabytes of VRAM. Apparently it's not really made for gaming, but you could use it for gaming. But I don't think that's necessarily where this is stopping. I think NVIDIA are holding back. They've got 16 gigabyte versions and 20 gigabyte versions and all that coming out probably either late this year or early next year sometime. Think about it, like, and all, all of AMD's RDNA 2 cards I'm, well, the, the higher spec ones, I'm hearing are all like 16 gigabytes as well. Some of their lower stuff might be 8 gigabytes. Uh, but again, that hasn't been announced yet. But what we're looking at is a, a high-end GPU market, even mid to high-end GPU market, that's going to be probably minimum 10 gig of VRAM. Yes, low to mid is probably that eight, 8 gigabytes of VRAM. But gone of the days of 4 gigabytes of VRAM. Like 4 gigabytes of VRAM is just puny in comparison to 16. And you're probably saying, oh, what? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I don't, I probably don't need to take this out of the packet. But we've been stuck in this GPU market for the last few years that the lower end is four gig, the higher end is eight gig, and in the middle summer you got six gig. Like, uh, like this one. Uh, the 1660 Super six gig, which this is the gaming OC model that I have in my editing PC slash VR PC and generally right now I find six gigabytes is okay in 2020 but part of what I want to talk about is 2021 and 2022 because when you buy a graphics card when you buy a new graphics card how long are you going to keep it for? Me personally, I normally upgrade my graphics cards every year, <laughs> which is stupid. It's a big loss of money and you shouldn't do it. <laughs> but I do. Uh, I, to be honest, I want to get out of that though. And in my sim rig, I've got this. Uh, the Radeon 5700 that comes with 8 gigabytes of VRAM. Now 8 gigabytes of VRAM, there's not many games right now that go past that. In saying that, uh, I've got a game on my sim rig, Assetto Corsa Competizione, and well that, that, that can go over 8 gigabytes of VRAM. And that can give this a really hard time. Uh, which is why I'm wanting to upgrade to Ampere or RDNA 2. And that's something I have to take into consideration because right now in 2020, one of the games I play the most is maxing out the VRAM on my 5700. And, and I've seen people that are running like 2080 Ti's with 11 gig of VRAM and you can tell that it's it's going more than that eight gigabyte not a lot more but it is 
And so when I think about upgrading to Ampere, I'm thinking if I go a 3070, that's still only got eight gigabytes of VRAM. And we're already maxing out eight gigabytes of VRAM now for the games I'm playing. What about next year? What about the year after? I don't, I don't want to keep upgrading my GPUs every year, especially when I've got two main computers. So that's a, that's a GPU there, a GPU here. It's, it's dollars. So I want to play it a bit smarter because I think AMD out the bat are just going to come out with some 16 gigabytes card, 16 gigabyte cards later on this year slash next year. And then Nvidia are going to go, Ooh, now that they've come out with their 16 gigabytes cards, we're going to come out with ours. I think long term over at least of two years of owning that card, I reckon in two years time, I reckon you're going to need that 16 gigabytes of VRAM. But you even look back like a year ago, right? When I probably bought this, maybe. No, it probably would have been less than a year ago I bought this. I didn't have a game that maxed out the VRAM on this. But you have a short amount of time later, I do. What's that going to be like next year? What's that going to be like the year after? The thing is, when graphics card makers do come out with more VRAM, game developers look at what the market currently owns and they think, well, let's make the game for what the technology currently can let us. They're of course not going to make a game that no GPU out there can actually play. And now that we got higher end GPUs coming out, of course the game developers are going to make more demanding games. And if you're just wanting to play GTA 5, <laughs> then yeah, you know, maybe 8 gigabytes is going to be fine for you. You'll probably not use that up. But if you're like me and quite often buy the new titles again every year, as soon as they get out, then maybe eight gigabytes is not going to be enough. I reckon eight gigabytes of VRAM is the new four gigabytes of VRAM. And 16 gigabytes of VRAM is probably going to be the new eight gigabytes of VRAM. And 10 gigabytes of VRAM is going to be the new Six gigabytes of VRAM. But as these new GPUs are coming out, they're launching, they're, they're going to be out in the next few months. I just wanted to put it out there. This is something to consider. Think about that. I was actually going to add something like this to my last video, but I completely forgot. And then I added it, added it that, and I'm like, oh. I forgot about that. Oh well, I guess I'll have to make a separate video for that. <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody. Hit that like button if you liked it. Subscribe for more videos and I will see you in the next video.